Hey you guys here with another HTC One video. In this video I want to show you guys how the USB OTG adapter works with the HTC One. Uh, I already did a couple tests already with the PlayStation 3 controller and I can't get it to work. So if you were expecting that, nope it's not going to work. I've been trying it over and over again with that lots of game and it hasn't worked with the OTG adapter. But it actually does let you uh, mount a USB drive uh, to the um, phone and you can transfer files and view videos and pictures that you have on your phone. So I'm going to show you guys how the phone actually reacts to it and how does it work. I'm going to use this um, kickstand right here for my phone. Um, this OTG adapter, you can get them on eBay or Amazon for $3, less than $5 including shipping, which is a great deal. I recommend anybody, everybody to buy one of these very cool things you can actually get your phone sometimes to and uh, do. Um, over here, let's go ahead and connect it. What it is, it goes to your micro USB port, like you see right there, and it converts it into a normal USB. Uh, when you connect it, like you see right here, it says unable to charge device. That's because this is not a charging device, so it's it's always going to tell you that. But let's go ahead over here to storage because I want you guys to see how it how it reacts over here when you plug a storage device. Like you see right here, if you, if you go to storage and you go all the way to the bottom, it says USB storage unavailable mount. USB storage is all grayed out. So now let's go ahead and plug in this uh, my Patriot USB drive and look at that right away. You can see the storage of my drive 3.38 gigabytes used and out of 740.486 gigabyte storage just like that like you see right there automatically recognized it now after you do that you need a file manager I use ES file explorer that's my favorite file manager so all you need a file manager to control your access your storage your from your USB drive and all you gotta do here for example if you are here click over here which says back not the back button because if you try to go with the back button sometimes it will tell you you want to exit but if you tap over here it should take you to this page right here and right here you can see it says SD card and storage we're going to click storage and now you see SD card which is the internal memory of the phone let's go back and you got USB when you click USB voila now you have access to all your files that are on your on your USB if I tap over here I can see a picture right there that I have up there and I could go ahead and open files like you see right here PS3 themes recycler themes like you see I can access any file that's in there uh, also if I have a, a document file I can also open it up uh, also you could go ahead and transfer files where if you tap and hold like you see right there, it's check marked. When you trap and hold, you could select more than one file. Like you see right there. And over here, you could either copy, cut, delete, rename, or if you click more, you got more options here, just like you would on a computer. You could go ahead and copy to, and I could go ahead and choose wherever I want it to copy in the phone, in the memory of the phone. So I could go ahead and put HTC One stuff and put it there. And now copy file successful to that folder. Um, also, if I have movies in here, like for example, let's go ahead and tap on that. That's a movie file. Uh, that's a MP4, I think it is, movie file. I could go ahead and click a player to open it up. Um, it recognizes that it has been started. I could go ahead and resume. You see right there. Awesome. Uh, let's see it here, over here. Very good. So, like you see, perfectly, 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 you can view 
uh, videos, you could um, check files, photos, and you could transfer them to your uh, phone. Like for example, if I want to transfer this movie, uh, go ahead and click uh, copy to uh, on my phone. I'm going to go ahead and choose a video file, video folder. Uh, let me go ahead and choose a video folder. This folder, I'm going to go ahead and click there. Let's see how long it takes. To transfer a full-blown movie, which is the movie is a uh, 870 megabytes, and it should transfer fast because, of course, it's like being connected to a computer. Um, I don't know if um, they're selling OTG adapters that are compatible with three USB 3.0. Uh, if there is, I recommend getting those. That way, you could future-proof yourself and get a, a better uh, transferring speed. And that's it, already done. So if I click back, if I click back over here, is the card. If I go to my, I'm in my phone now. If I go here, there it is. There it is, the movie, right there. And that's it. That's all you can do here with the OTG adapter and the HTC One. Let's go back over here. Let's go back to storage where we first showed you right here on um, to unmount it you can unplug it if you want but honestly i recommend um using this feature right here it says unmount so if you tap right here now it's safely to remove and that's it so like you saw right there i uh, showed you how the otg adapter works on the acc one uh, pretty good cable, very convenient cable, and once you buy it and you get different phones, um, this most likely is going to work with every phone you get uh, from now on because almost every phone um, has this feature, uh, the OTG adapter feature. So, um, hope you guys liked the video. That was a look of the ACC One paired with the H um, OTG adapter. So, till next time, guys.